From the outside, it looks like an old rustic house, but inside is where you will find some of the best, freshest, and highest quality seafood in Baton Rouge. From char grilled oyster to seafood gumbo to turtle soup to fried alligator, you want it, they have it. So, how did we end up here? I'm sorry, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are in the world. I hope you guys are having a good day. Welcome back, if you're new to the channel, my name is David Saracha. Anyways, I was just chilling here at the Double Tree Hilton here in Baton Rouge with my little man, planning out what I'm gonna film when I go to the Cajun Fresh Market tomorrow. If you guys haven't checked out the video yet, the link is right here. Anyways, um, I like seafood gumbo, so um, before we leave Baton Rouge, uh, I wanna try some seafood gumbo here. So I went on Google and I typed in the best seafood gumbo here in Baton Rouge and guess what came up? Power Rain. Uh, before we left the hotel, I even asked the front desk guy and he was like, yeah, Power Rain for sure. It's very close by. So anyways, if you guys are ready, let's go. AKA Vominos. Power Rain is less than two miles away from the Double Tree Hilton Hotel. Yet, I still got lost. Well, I didn't get lost, I couldn't switch over fast enough, and next thing you know, I'm here in LSU. For those that don't know what LSU is, it's Louisiana State University. It's also where Shaquille O'Neal went for college. And if you don't know who Shaquille O'Neal is, this is him. Anyways, the campus is pretty nice. One hour later. Finally, we are here at Paring. It was a busy Sunday, so finding parking might be a little bit difficult. Luckily, they have plenty in the back. We got here around noon and even though there was a lunch rush, we still got seated in less than 20 minutes. They gave my daughter some crayons so she can color while we look at the menu. That was very nice of them. The goal was to just get the seafood gumbo, eat and then leave. Well, that didn't work out too well. We ended up getting the char grilled oysters, two order actually, one for me and one for my wife, seafood gumbo, turtle soup, fried alligator, a shrimp po' boy with fries, and an order of crawfish estouffee with half fried crawfish. I blame it on my wife. Every time when I see an item on the menu, I ask my wife if she wanna try it. She was like, sure, if you wanna try it, we can get it. So, do you guys wanna know how everything tastes like? Let's start off with the char grilled oysters. We're gonna add some Tabasco sauce to it. Let's try it with some sriracha. We got sriracha. Wow. I have to admit, I feel a bit bad for my little man. He's missing out big time. Hopefully, by the time you watch this, we can be enjoying some char grilled oyster together. Let's give this turtle soup a try. Very salty though. So every time when I eat turtle soup, it reminds me of the time when Brian first had turtle soup. You see, Brian is an animal lover. He has two pet turtles and somehow he lost one. The turtle actually escaped. Anyways, about nine years ago, we were in New Orleans. We went to this restaurant, ordered turtle soup. We told Brian that it was turtle soup, but he refused to believe it and he kept on slipping away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the seafood gumbo. Seafood gumbo. Mm. Gumbo is good. You like that one? Mm, this one is good. Surprisingly, my wife liked the turtle soup. She didn't think it was salty at all. When it comes to the fried alligator, I had it several times before, so it wasn't a big deal for me. It really does taste like chicken. So that's why my daughter was loving it. She thinks it's chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A, even though I told her it was fried alligator. Let's try this crawfish estouffee. The 
fried codfish tail was good. It was very similar to a fried shrimp. I don't know why we got the shrimp po' boy, but let's give it a try. A bill was $82.19 with tip was $97.19. So if you guys happen to be in Baton Rouge and you want some good seafood, definitely come by and check out Pa Ring. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much and you staying to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you soon.